Do you know what today is? Today is the third day of our three-day road trip across the country. Or our five-year anniversary. What a cool little town. I actually like this so much better than a hotel. I bet the people who live here are really happy. Tough crowd, right? Hi. Hi. Do you hear that? Hear what? The silence. It's nice. <gasps> Is Tamara here? No. I think you have the wrong home. That was weird. You are the messiest eater on the planet. I'm thinking of starting a writing club. Why? All those clubs do is sit around talking about motorcycles. That's what we do. You don't belong nowhere else, so they belong together. But you're the man in charge. I'm John. We're the man, don't you? I'm Ben. I like you guys. Your boyfriends are getting into trouble. Shit. What the hell were you thinking back then? No, I I saw you scoring off of them guys. What do I need to think for? Hey, you and me, kid. Johnny always loved Benny. This is our family. Forever. Hey! I told you to take that jacket off. You'd have to kill me to get this jacket off. I don't want any trouble here. Then I'll let you leave. What about the bar? Find it down. We gotta go. Nah, we don't. They're scared of us. These young guys. They ain't gonna follow nobody except somebody who can hold their own. The club is changing. Running drugs, gambling. Is that who we are not? You can't have him, he's mine. If he keeps riding, he's gonna die one way or another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need you. Some people would rather crash than slow down. I
standing guard on one of the last great open spaces. These people think that if they're tough enough, smart enough, and mean enough, all this will be there someday. There's no army of this earth that's gonna stop those wagons coming, little as they're wanted. trying to do is get as many of us as I can, as far as I can. I'd just like to have a drink tonight with someone that knows how to act. You're not taking the full measure of this, Mary. I know the man I met was on his way to kill everyone in that house. He might as well have been walking up to get the mail for all that bothered him. What you build, they will burn down. that much this year? Haven't had much need of it yet. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a bad man right here. For the first time in New York history, a room full of people froze to death in July. If it's an unimaginable evil with the power to kill by fear itself. Like, literally scared to death? Now it's headed straight for us. Is something trying to get out? Many things. It's commanding an army of the undead. I think we're all going to die. Hold on your ass! This could bring about the end of humankind. This might sound crazy. I don't want to alarm you. Do you remember a TV show we used to watch together? It was called... The Big of Eight? Yeah. Do you watch? Each episode, they help each other fight a new monster from across the county but it's way too scary for most kids. If we're gonna defeat him this time, we're gonna need to harness the full potential of our shared powers. Sometimes the pink opaque feels more real than real life. Maddie, it was a TV show. Are you sure that's all it was? I 
like girls. You know that, right? Totally. That's fine. What about you? Do you like girls? I think that I like TV shows. <laughs> it's our destiny. How can I have a destiny? destiny? Something's wrong. This is how life is supposed to feel. Tell me you know it's true. Maddie, it's, it's just the suburbs. Seems like you're always somewhere else lately. Maddie disappeared without a trace. All they found was her TV set burning in the backyard. I told myself I made the right choice. What if I really was someone else? Very far away on the other side of a television screen. Of spice. Oh, mm. oh you're adorable. You can't defeat me. I am every opponent you've ever faced. Stand back. I'm gonna kick my butt. Look, it's great that you've witnessed Jehovah or whatever, but now's a bad time. Oh, no, dear. I'm Ms. Durak, the babysitter. Oh, hell no. Oh, and the most important thing, if we're not alone and I ask you for something, you just say... Just like you, lost. They come every night. They watch us until the sun rises again. It's a window on the other side. They'll be very interested in someone new. What are they doing? Applause. For you, Mina. Don't you want to know what they are? That's impossible. some good before you find yourself here. Girl, girl, 
Finbar Murphy. I'd have something else for you in a week or so. I've been thinking. It's been a lifetime of poor choices I've made. In the pines, in the pines, How many people have you killed altogether? There's more to me than this. I'd like folks to see it. I'm trying to find a friend. What's the name? Finbar Murphy has done something unforgivable. You can give him a message. We'll tear right through this godforsaken place. No one will be safe. Left six dead. Fimar, what is it that you did? Uh, I lost track long ago. The saint's got to be a sinner first, Tony. I won't have you hurting anyone else in this town. We're not leaving. People will come. People a lot worse than me. So you left me no choice. Fimar Murphy's going to war. I'm not missing out on all the fun. I've seen enough killing for a lifetime. You're at your end. Better make your peace. Rudy. Are you even listening to me? Hello? I think you can do anything. I think you could do that. But I also think that maybe there's a world where you put all this creativity just towards a stable job or something more consistent with actual money. Sorry, what? I'm Rudy. Isabella. Isabella, prazer. Prazer. What? For as long as I can remember, everyday regular sounds, I turn into rhythm. She's different, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's oh, funny. Oh, tell me more. But now Haley, I think, wants to, wants to get back together. Tell me less. But honestly, I don't think you actually know what you want. I'm figuring it out. Well, I know what I want. Tell me, tell me what it is. Are you okay? No, I feel like everyone's pulling me in different directions, including my mom. I don't think Brazilian girls are the most beautiful. Uh, yeah. What? 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 What did you just say? I, I, I didn't say anything. Oh, just give me a second. No, what? I'm sorry, let me no, just talk. Judy, I have to Can go. I come on? That's him. He's the one I told you about. That had swagger. Yeah. It really did. I was a player. Vinny Walker, legend in the making. Vinny was a pro. He's been living in his car for months. He's lost. We're going to play an international football tournament in Rome. There'll be players coming from all over the world. And this lot are England's best homeless players. Homeless? I am not homeless. <laughs> and you thought he was homeless? He's just a bit of a twat. <laughs> this competition brings us all together. A second chance to be part of the team. You represent the potential that sport has to build a better world. Come to Rome. I can't. I think you can. It's like a proper international football competition. Sorry, I thought I made that clear. You get a ball, you pass it to me. I'm sick of this. Thinking you're better than us just because you can kick a ball. I'm not Benny, is that what you're saying? Everyone has a reason for being here. And every player has a story to tell. I did something, you know. I'm different now. I have to prove that. You think football can do that? Nobody can save themselves. We save each other. You were terrific. You still are. 
If you lose your way, the team will always come and find you. If you win, I'll buy you dinner. But you're not going to win. Are you ready? We can't find South Africa. South Africa is at the bottom of Africa. She's referring to the football team, Elzar. This is easy. These dude chops are banging. How was a field trip, boys? <laughs> yeah, we gotta hand feed the giraffe. Yeah, the sucker was eating right out of her palm. You made this? How old are you guys? 16. 16. Hey! You idiots are gonna end up on the side of a frickin' milk carton. I'm grounded. No more running free range all summer. I've got one week to find a legit job before my mom goes full tilt DEF CON. <laughs> We need to bag some summer jobs. You think you can hook us up? You can ask if they need an extra hand. With what? That thing. Snack Shack. I think they bid it out at the city council meeting. I want to pitch you an idea. OK. You bid $2,000 on the Snack Shack at the swimming pool. Actually, we bid three. <laughs> oh, man. This place is wrecked. Let's get to work. We need a spick and span in case some health inspector comes stepping around. We're going to be rolling in so much dough this summer. Hey, you called me a diet coke. Thanks. You can match you. So what's your name? You friends me? You're unbelievable. There's been a pattern with you two. An escalation. A dangerous escalation. Just wanna have fun this summer. Feel me? One little advice, homie. Make a move. Any move. It's open season. You never know when. You never know where. That's piss, ain't it? You're unbelievable. Nice wheels, douchebag. Ready? The storm is coming. <clears throat> A storm. Okay, I'll be serious now. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. He is without doubt the fastest man in the world, Dan Weldon. Dan's style was precision. Bam, you just go straight to the top. Dan Weldon just won the Indy 500. You're making me look bad. He was a risk taker. That was one of the things that I fell in love with. With the race, there's so many things that aren't in your control. You try and control as much as you can. Contact in a huge crash. I've seen many accidents, but nothing on this scale. It's like a plane has crashed. IndyCar is very sad to announce that Dan Weldon has passed away. Right Racing has taken from me the most important thing in my life, but it's also given me so much these two little faces. Save that for the racetrack. A storm is coming. Of course, everybody in motorsports has already heard about Oliver and Sebastian Weldon. I'm helping them achieve their dreams. This is what your dad used to do. I'm going to squeeze you as much as I love you. Ready? One, two, three. Go. Oh. I am the good-looking son of a bitch from England. <laughs> and a storm is coming. Airmen from 40 American bomber groups bled and died in staggering numbers in air combat. One of these groups suffered so many casualties, it became known as the Bloody Hundred. The men and the women of the Air Force really paved the way for air superiority over Germany. The people we served with sacrificed everything. They called us the Bloody Hundredth. 